Hey, welcome back to the Genesis Principle of Fine Arts. I'm Alton Jones. Thank you for joining me again today. You're joining me again for the fifth session on the last cup until we drink. The last cup until we drink painting. I always like to give a bit of referencing as to what you're looking at or what exactly I'm painting. This is a, a reflection of an event that took place in the Jewish history in the upper room at the last supper so i'm painting a bit of a bit of a scene from that at, at best i can and so that's what this painting is really about it's rooted in uh, religious symbolism they would say but I'd, I'd say biblical symbolisms okay so today for you um addressing the wood grain on the ceiling joices which are cedar wood and uh, it's a lighter colored cedar and also on the chest in the far left corner with the the grapevine draped over that the grapevine at harvest time or in the fall and so i'll be painting the second layer of the the grape foliage and also second layer of the chest simulating the wood grain of uh, aromatic cedar and so you'll get to see some of that, how I paint wood grain and how I paint the leaves on uh, grapevine. Okay, so uh, let's get going now and um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Hopefully you'll learn something as much as I'm learning as I go through the process. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. So we're back on the canvas now. Uh, I keep saying canvas, but it's actually a linen. A linen. It's uh, oil on linen. Uh, linen is quite diff different from canvas. Canvases are made of cotton. And um, most people say canvas, meaning linen or cotton, but correctly, only canvas is cotton and linen is a linen surface, linen stretcher. So I'm back on the the surface here working just straightening out the wood the wood across the ceiling the joists and laying in um the colors trying to capture a bit of the the uh, this light cooler tone of cedar wood in the late in the late evening here um a lot of the details are not showing for some reason uh, i'm not i don't know exactly why that is but you can't see much of the grains that i'm laying in in the wood but Nonetheless, I'm working on the wood grains here. Maybe it's the camera, the lighting, or maybe it's just the quality of the lens, the camera itself. I maybe I need to change camera. But anyway, I'm working on the, the wood grain in the ceiling and, and straightening out the wood joists, giving a sense of uh, as if it's solid wood surface that are in the ceiling. As I said, I'm kind of working, at working. Um, I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> upscotchly, I guess. Upscotchly, I'm kind of upscotching all over the place because I'm experimenting with a new set of oils um, that are quite non-toxic, toxic, and en environmentally friendly, but they take quite a long time to dry. So I can't layer as fast as I would like to, but. Uh, these are healthy, healthy oils and I'm testing them out to see what they're like to work with, so. As these two wood joists in the ceiling are, are a bit in the rear, they're a bit in the background somewhat. I don't want to detail them too much, that is why. Also, um, if you notice, I'm laying in the wood grains, but I'm also kind of blending it back a little bit in, in, 
in an ala prima style i'm kind of blending the wood grain back a little bit so it looks almost as if the surface is flat with very slight spouts of color or darker tones in the wood because it's in in the back and i don't want too much detail coming forward as yet so that's the reason for for the wood grain not being very striking to look at and this is the ceiling it's quite far above above the head so i'd like to keep it somewhat subdued As you notice, I'm using this bar in my hand as well, just to kind of stabilize my hand a little bit to, to get some of the lines straight and keep down, reduce a bit of the shakiness of my arm. A lot of, a lot of artists use a bar like this to steady their hands and to paint with. So that's all. It's just a simple piece of wood and I use it to help to steady my hand. And uh, it's actually great if you're painting detail. You can actually buy these professionally made now, I guess. Um, this is just a piece of wood I got from Home Depot, but um, you can purchase a stabilizer bar that stabilizes your arm to do your painting. And they're great for detailing, especially if you got to paint a lot of really fine detail. You would need something to steady your hand. At this point, I'm working on the the chest in the far right corner and the far left corner here. Just trying to simulate the grain on cedar wood, aromatic cedar. Trying to mimic some of the wood grains and kind of capture a bit of that. And this chest here in the corner, the idea here is that it would be a kind of a container that you would keep inside of it. You would you would store things, uh, maybe. Uh, linens or tablecloths things like that or uh, a bottle of wine or so or oil for your lamp um, olive oil lamps they would use at in, in this time period and so maybe some olive oil would be found in this sort of a thing um, tablecloths um, hand towels and, and things like that and so I'm kind of just uh, Kind of decorating the wood grain itself, um, giving it a little, a, a bit of character as I kind of paint my way through it here and uh, navigate around the the vines of this this uh, this grape grape plant and also navigate around the foliage, which I'll be addressing in a, in a little while. I'll be doing some painting on that. As I said, this is the second layer of oils and um, 
just laying in some shadows and some some lighter tones a bit of warm colors here just to raise the temperature a little bit this uh, event took place late in the evening and and so uh, I guess the greater part of the the heat of the day is gone but nonetheless I still want a bit of temperature in the wood the wood grains and the actual foliage of the the grapevine which naturally at this point in the season it it does have have a lot of high yellows and things like that already in it because the the vine would be it would be the last of the vine the vine would be dying at this point uh, or shutting itself down um, for next year's harvest uh, and so the vine is quite symbolic um, as it is draped over the chest here uh, which I, I might explain at some point as to why I choose to place uh, the grapevine in in the uh, in the scene. As I had uh, mentioned earlier that this the chest here would be some place that you would store a bit of oil for your lamp uh, this little uh, container on top here is actually an old-fashioned Jewish lamp or uh, an olive oil lamp would be used and this is what some of them would look like in the time of, uh, of, of um, in uh, biblical times at Jesus's time a lamp would look similar to this it's made of clay and all it is it's uh, quite simple it's just uh, somewhat of a, a container a clay pottery type container with an opening in the top where you would pour the olive oil and it's got a spout where you would put a wick inside of that and that leads down to the oil and you would light the wick and it would burn and give light to the room uh, if you're a Bible reader, you would know the Bible speaks of a lampstand or a lamp that is is lit and is placed on a stand. Well, the lamp itself is considered the lampstand and as one unit. And so this is a Jewish old-fashioned or ancient style lamp, olive oil lamp. And so just painting a bit of detail in that.
yeah i gotta say here i must apologize for this grape um foliage uh for the longest time i was painting the lower parts of that and it wasn't showing on camera um i'm using a cell phone to record um which i really do need a studio camera but that's going going to have to wait for now but suffice it to say i'm i'm, I'm recording with with my cell phone and just sometimes the angles are, are weird it shows as if it's capturing on screen but it's not so i was painting the foliage and nothing was showing on camera but um now we're back in 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 the shot and so i'm just putting a bit of second layering over the uh the uh the grape leaves here and uh of course the idea as i said is that these leaves are 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 dying it's in the fall and so the ones that are closest to us closest to the tip closest to the floor those will still have a little bit of more um a greater level of green to them but the ones closer back to the base of the vine those would show a lot more uh decay and color shift as they would be the ones that would be dying first before the ones at the tip of the vine and so that's the idea here so i'm just painting my way through that so i'll leave you now just to sit and enjoy and um i'll see you in my next video go ahead and enjoy the video hopefully you learned something as i said